Hey guys, what's up? Retro Mikey 78 here, and today we have Retro Rec Room. Sorta. Alright. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on the Instagram. Now let's get into this and see what exactly I got going on. Now, Retro Rec Room was a subscription box company earlier in the year that I enjoyed. I did it from the time they started till the time they shut down. They lost their supplier of games. So, what they've done, no, since then, and I you know, decided to keep it like this so you guys can see it. But Retro Rec Room has went to a online um, store, and I bought this on their Black Friday shop sale. So, let's get into this and see what we got. And then I'll give you guys a little tour of their store real quick and let you guys see what they got going on. But I picked up another GameCube game. Um, this was a few bucks cheaper than what price charting had it as. And what I like about Retro Rec Room is everything always comes in pristine condition. They're, um, you know, everything's great, good. That's... The bonus of Retro Record. That's why I, I recommended the company when they were a subscription service. I'm recommending it now as a just a video game um, service where you buy off of. Video Game Cadet, a um, YouTuber was the one that ran it. You know, you get an invoice here of what you got. I got Chaos Field. When I placed the order, I did place the order for Chaos Field and Ribbit King. Um, they had to refund my money back for Ribbit King. They said they was out of stock, which is a shame because I've been really wanting to try that game. So I'm going to let you guys, I'm gonna, I shot a video, quick video here of um, their website and some of the stuff they have. So I'll let you guys see that. All right, guys, this is what Retro Rec Room has turned into now. This is their website. Um, instead of now a video game subscription, they now sell. So you can shop for games, hardware, or apparel. Which, next time the apparel is on sale, I'll probably go for this Resident Evil shirt. But, yep. Yeah, their games, they have NES, SNES, 64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, GBA, DS, Genesis, Dreamcast, PS1, PS2, PS3, PSP, Xbox, and 360. It's all old school stuff. Basically, uh, let's click on the 360 here. You just go through and go, is there anything here that you need? And let's see if there's anything that I think looks interesting on here. Three pages. So far, I don't see anything that looks interesting. I was looking at that Naughty Bear. I don't have Naughty Bear. That, that looks like a fun game. Look, here's that Young Justice I just got on the Black Friday ad. Or the Black Friday sale at um, GameStop. And last page on a 360. Uh, still nothing there that I need. The Midway... Arcade Origins. I wonder what's on that. Can't blow it up. Yep, I can blow it up. And there's some decent games on there. So, Gauntlet 2, Smash TV, Total Carnage. There's some good games on here that you could get and play, um, play in HD. It's not a bad set. Sixteen ninety nine. I'll have to think about that later. So back out, and what I keep doing on this is I keep going. You know, I got the sixteen or fourteen in sixty four games. I still need to recollect, and I got GameCube games. So I keep going to the GameCube games. That's where I got my Chaos Field. That's the Ribbit King that I tried to get. And they told me that it was out of stock, so 
I keep looking and nothing's been added, so. But, you know, trying to get, I know they're, they're condition-wise, everything is great. When you get it, it looks great, plays great. So, I highly recommend this site. Check it out now. You know, it's, it's kind of sad that they don't do any, um, the boxes anymore, but that Resident Evil shirt catching, keeps catching my eye. Like that crash, kicking it old school with a PS1. Don't look at me with a ghost. But twenty dollars. I didn't even look to see if these were on sale when the Black Friday sale was going on, but that's all right. Hardware. Um, check this out. You know, you can buy some consoles. Sony consoles. PS3. Not that bad at prices. I mean, a PS1 system for 30, 40, 40. Not that bad. I mean, you still got to pay shipping. Nintendo controllers. There's a Yoshi Plus Edition controller. GameCube. That's a little high, I think, for the watermelon controller. Oh, no, yeah, it's a nice website. Check it out now, now that they do this. So, all right, we'll go back out and have a closing. All right, now you guys saw that. You've seen this. Um, check it out. Uh, Retro Rec Room is back. They have their own site um, where you can buy games now. And like I said, everything that I've ever gotten from them is pristine quality. Um, so... If you guys like quality and you don't mind paying what it's worth, that's the service I'd say go with. So, um, also, you know, they have their apparel site now down below in the link. Retro Mikey Retro April shirts are now available of tpublic.com. The link will be down in the description. As soon as we get the shirts, we'll be showing them off to you probably in December's monthly update. I'm hoping. So go down below, click, look, and maybe buy you guys some shirts. Also, those of you that stuck around to the end, the $25 digital code giveaway going on um, now till December 20th. The winner gets picked between Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo. So enter and um, hope you win and maybe you'll enjoy it like some of the other people have. Thanks for watching Retro Mikey 78 and we'll be back here again real soon.